The main Republican Party is an affiliate of the United States Republican Party (GOP) in Maine. It was founded in Strong, Maine on August 7, 1854. The Maine GOP is noted for its historically strong state college Republican Federation. Other affiliate groups include the Maine Federation of Republican Women and the Maine Federation of Young Republicans. Topic: <laughs> Party History The Republican Party formed in Maine in 1854 due to Prohibition and the abolitionist movement. Hannibal Hamlin left the Democratic Party because of the slavery issue and helped form the Republican Party. He was the state's first Republican governor. In 1860, he became the first Republican vice president after Abraham Lincoln won the presidency. From the 1860s until 1900, James G. Blaine rose as a dominant Republican figure. He was the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, a U.S. Senator, and Secretary of State for three Republican administrations. He ran for president in 1884 but lost to Grover Cleveland. In the late 1800s, Thomas B. Reed served in the House of Representatives for three terms. He started many reforms and was sometimes referred to as Tsar Reed. Reed's rules of order are still used in Maine legislatures. Except for rare lapses, the Republicans dominated Maine politics until 1954, when young progressives from the Democratic Party gained strength. Margaret Chase Smith was the first American woman elected to serve in both houses of Congress, elected to the House of Representatives in 1940 and the Senate in 1948. In 1964, she was placed in the nomination for presidency at the Republican National Convention. On August 19, 2013, the resignation of seven members of the state committee, viewed as libertarian and conservative, was announced along with their unenrollment from the party. Those who resigned cited numerous grievances with the party at both the state and national levels, including party rule changes, support from congressional Republicans of national security agency surveillance programs, and the failure of legislative Republicans to block tax increases in the recently passed state budget. Current office holders The Maine Republican Party controls the governor's office. It holds a majority in the Maine Senate, and a minority in the Maine House of Representatives. It also holds one of the state's U.S. Senate seats and one of the state's U.S. House seats. <laughs> <laughs> Members of Congress U.S. Senate Susan Collins U.S. House Bruce Poliquin Topic <inaudible> Statewide Offices Governor Paul Lepage Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> State Legislature President of the Maine Senate Michael Thibodeau Senate Majority Leader Garrett Mason Assistant Senate Minority Leader, Andre Cushing III House Minority Leader, Kenneth Fredette Assistant House Minority Leader, Ellie Espling <laughs> State Committee Leadership Chairman Hun. Rick Bennett, Norway Vice Chairman Hun. Susan Morissette, Winslow Charles Mahalaris, Secretary, Augusta Benjamin Lombard, Treasurer, Augusta Hun. Alex Willette, National Committeeman, Mapleton Ashley Ryan, National Committeewoman, South Portland Stavros Mendros, Androscoggin County Chair, Lewiston Michael Marcotti, Androscoggin County Committeeman, Lewiston Hun. Lois Snow Mello, Androscoggin County Committeewoman, Poland Jason Green, Androscoggin County at Large, Durham Jerry Martin, Aroostook County Chair, Fort Fairfield Brian Violette, Aroostook County Committeeman, Caribou Melissa Willette, Aroostook County Committeewoman, Mapleton Eric Lusk, Cumberland County Chair, Harpswell George Colby, Cumberland County Committeeman, New Gloucester Barbara Harvey, Cumberland County Committeewoman, Portland 
Tim Bryan, Cumberland County at Large, Falmouth Sheila Corey, Cumberland County at Large, Wyndham Darla Hamlin, Cumberland County at Large, North Yarmouth Annalie Rosenblatt, Cumberland County at Large, Scarborough Ryan Morgan, Franklin County Chair, West Farmington Andy Buckland, Franklin County Committeeman, Farmington Regina Longyear, Franklin County Committeewoman, Farmington Sandra Blanchette, Hancock County Chair, Orland Dan Sullivan, Hancock County Committeeman, Surrey Joyce Fernald, Hancock County Committeewoman, Franklin Larry Marshall, Hancock County at Large, Surrey Curtis Ayotte, Kennebec County Chair, Farmingdale Andrew Mahalaris, Kennebec County Committeeman, Augusta Emily Roderick, Kennebec County Committeewoman, Winthrop Tyler Leckler, Kennebec County at Large, Benton Bob Carter, Knox County Chair, Warren Fred Bucklin, Knox County Committeeman, Appleton Martha Johnston Nash, Knox County Committeewoman, Union Stuart Smith, Lincoln County Chair, Edgecombe Hun. John McCain, Lincoln County Committeeman, Newcastle Jeanette Wheeler, Lincoln County Committeewoman, Waldoboro Tim Turner, Oxford County Chair, Buckfield Peter Laverdier, Oxford County Committeeman, Oxford Wendy Turner, Oxford County Committeewoman, Buckfield Hun. Jared Crockle, Oxford County at Large, Bethel Deborah Plowman, Penobscot County Chair, Hampton Lee Jackson, Penobscot County Committeeman, Old Town Irv Master, Penobscot County at Large, Glenburn Vic Baradelli, Penobscot County at Large, Newburgh Hun. Nietzsche Farnham, Penobscot County at Large, Bangor Charles Schaefer, Piscataquis County Chair, Seabic James White, Piscataquis County Committeeman, Guilford Trish White, Piscataquis County Committeewoman, Guilford Donald McKenna, Saugatahawk County Chair, Bowdenham Tyler Washburn, Saugatahawk County Committeeman, Bowden Cindy Nesbitt, Saugatahawk County Committeewoman, Bowden Cynthia Izon, Somerset County Chair, Norwich Scott Seekins, Somerset County Committeeman, St. Albans Patty Maynard, Somerset County Committeewoman, Skowhegan Tim Amadon, Somerset County at Large, Skowhegan Robert Hanish, Waldo County Chair, Stockton Springs Peter Ryu, Waldo County Committeeman, Winterport Patty Keyes, Waldo County Committeewoman, Swanville Hun. Chris Gardner, Washington County Chair, Edmonds Shane Curtis, Washington County Committeeman, Pembroke Marianne Moore, Washington County Committeewoman, Calais Burnell Bailey, York County Chair, South Berwick John Carson, York County Committeeman, Kittery Point Jeannie Jennings, York County Committeewoman, South Berwick Demi Kazunas, York County at Large, Sacco Michael Coleman, York County at Large, Old Orchard Bud Hurst, York County at Large, Old Orchard Beach Lauren Lepage, Governor Lepage's Representative, Waterville Bobby Reynolds, Senator Collins Representative, Gorham Garrett Mason, Maine Senate Republicans Representative, Lisbon Falls Deborah Sanderson, Maine House Republicans Representative, Chelsea Ellen Greek, Maine Federation of Republican Women President, Tenants Harbor Jim Fossil, Maine Young Republicans Chairman, Gardner Tyler Leckler, Maine College Republicans Chairman and Kennebec County at Large, Benton. Topic. Controversies. Topic 2010. The Maine Republican Party caused a stir during its 2010 convention when the historically moderate party passed a constitutionally conservative platform supported by Tea Party activists. The new platform calls for the elimination of the United States Department of Education and the Federal Reserve System, the rejection of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child because it would give foreign entities control over U.S. citizens, a freeze and prohibition on stimulus spending, and the prosecution of perpetrators of the global warming myth. It also demands a return to the principles of Austrian economics and the assertion that healthcare is not a right, but a service. That can be addressed only by using market-based solutions. 
Indeed, the platform says, the principles upon which the Republican Party was founded, to which we as citizens seek return, and to which we demand our elected representatives abide, are summarized as follows. The constitutions, both state and federal, are the framework to which any and all legislation must adhere. State sovereignty must be regained and retained on all issues specifically relegated to the states by the Constitution. National sovereignty shall be preserved and retained as dominant over any attempted unconstitutional usurpations of such by international treaty. It is the responsibility and duty, of, we the people, to educate both ourselves and others, to demand honest elections free of corruption, and to hold our elected officials to the highest standards of honesty, integrity and loyalty to the Constitution. Topic 2012. During the 2012 Maine caucuses, the Maine Republican Party received heavy criticism for mistakes and omissions in voter tallies. The Waldo County GOP committee called for a censure of Chairman Charlie Webster for his handling of the controversy. 